Hello, ladies and gentlemen and business owners. This is Daryl Guberman, CEO of Guberman PMC LLC, a quality consulting from here in Connecticut. This video today is about partisan Democratic clown, Trump judge, QA expert, Daryl Guberman, and former victim of federal court, speaks loud and clear. Yes, I was a victim of federal court because my competition came after me because the heat's getting too hot in the kitchen. That's why when you bring out the fact about the American National Standards Institute and the American National Crediting Board being fully enveloped in the Department of Justice, you have to really think about that and say, what is going on? Today, though, we have a special guest. He's not camera shy, as we all know. There's an article concerning the factor that uh, this judge, a uh, Trump judge, faces online backlash after smiling, posing for cameras in the courtroom. He's a partisan clown, yes, and here he is. People would say to me, Daryl, are you scared to do... Let me just tell you something. He goes to the toilet just like we do. Same thing. They do not judge on justice. And they have all these statutes that they repeat, thinking that you, the defendant or the uh, plaintiff, are going to get all nervous about it. In fact, they did a statistical analysis, as I'm in quality control, that 85% of both plaintiffs and defendants in court felt that um, their lawyers were colluding in the courtroom and the judge. And remember this, uh, I am sure Donald Trump knows it, by the way. Uh, Donald Trump did pop in from, from uh, New York. Here he is. Thank you, uh, Donald, for popping in. But this is a good story because it's not a story, it's a fact. The judge is the CEO of the courtroom. He gets money for both the plaintiff and defendant's attorney, and they drag it out, drag it out. My case, as a matter of fact, dragged it out for three years, and the guy walked away, probably leaving his attorney, not only with the amount of money he's not paying, probably over 100 k he probably never paid it, unless my competition paid the attorney off. Never can tell when you have a uh, competition, ANSI ANAP, that are involved with the DOJ, they could do anything, can't they? Especially, uh, they're an $84 million organization as far as 2021 is concerned. I'm sure it's a lot more now. So you have this judge here. I I'm gonna say this, I wanna keep this very, very short, as short as I can. Um, we, uh, I told you we were involved with a court case uh, 2019 to 2022 in November. In fact, our anniversary, one year, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. And it was tough uh, in federal court. Um, the guy got pissed off the first time, the plaintiff, and um, the judge ruled in his favor because we were uh, pro se. They don't like pro se, the judges, especially when we were making the court look very bad. The guy turned around, that was in May of uh, 2020. Uh, in um, September of 2020, uh, he sued again. So I got a wonderful attorney, one of the ones that I trust. A really nice guy, excellent attorney. If anybody needs a good attorney uh, in the Florida area, I'll gladly give you his name. Fantastic guy, absolutely. But I want to bring this to light because this deserves to get to light defamation. This is what that guy, the guy who sued me was defamation. $632,000 a guy filed bankruptcy for. And uh, then he came after me. That was in 2016. And then he came after me in 2019. He wanted to shut me down because we were exposing uh, my competition. And we still are. You can find me, Daryl Guberman. Look me up on YouTube and you will see a fact. You'll see facts. I, but let's get back to dear old Donald Trump. This is basically what the courtroom does. If you see, this of course is your judge, and there you go for the lawyer. Can we just for a moment, your honor, ignore the facts? It sounds so true to form about what Donald Trump is going through right now. Let's ignore the facts. Isn't that nice? And this is a fact. The worst thing is, is I received a letter from the attorney that was, you know, representing me the first time around. And he's an attorney of 40 years. I'm not going to give you his name, but I do have his, <laughs> uh, I do have his, uh, their old email. And this is what he said. And I want you to all listen. So if you get served a subpoena or something, take it, make it into a paper airplane, 
just like that. And the reason why I say that is because I, I federal court, I did a lot of videos on the first judge. Um, the second judge, I understand as far as what I've gathered, uh, they had some improprieties with some land dealings and all this stuff. These guys think they're above the law. They're not, ladies and gentlemen. It's a, it's a laugh. It, it truly is. It's, it's a terrible thing that we do not have justice in America. So I'm going to read this to you. This is what he said. Uh, an attorney of 40 years. 40 years. Unbelievable. Dear Daryl, I think very carefully before I say or do anything in the legal arena. Not only because I represent other people and can make them look bad, but because I am a professional who understands how the world really works. Nearly everything you see when litigating in any court, federal or state, is an illusion. In the political world, we call it blue smokes and mirrors. The definition of blue smoke and mirrors is this. According to the Cambridge Dictionary, the definition of smoke and mirrors is something that is intended to make you believe that something is being done or is true when it is not. The Merriam-Webster definition defines smoke and mirrors as something intended to disguise or draw attention away from an often embarrassing or unpleasant issue, usually hy hyphenated when used <laughs> arbitrarily. So, this is what you get when you're in court. And remember this, both plaintiffs and defendants uh, feel that their attorneys colluded during that, that time. You know, they go off to EE, they go out to a lunch, they do this, and here is the judge once again, smiling, isn't he? And now he's a celebrity. After this whole court case, he's probably gonna make the rounds in all the talk shows. Isn't that a tender moment? in a really screwed up world, made even more screwier by our justice system, which is not justice at all. It is not we the people anymore. If this guy has a fight with his wife, his husband, whatever it is, he'll come to court and make the ruling on how he felt rather than on justice. We see that time and time and time again in court. So I leave it there. My name is Daryl Guberman. I am the CEO of Guberman PMC LLC, a quality consulting firm here in Connecticut integrity, honesty, and the truth. And I'm gonna say this to this person here. I can't call Arthur a judge. He is Arthur. So that is it, so. It is impossible to comprehend the moral mischief, if I may so express it, that mental lying has produced in our society. When a man or woman has so far corrupted and prostituted the chastity of their mind as to subscribe their professional beliefs to things they do not believe, they have prepared themselves the care mission, Arthur, for every other crime. I thank you, 203-556-1493, or Daryl, D-A-R-Y-L-T-Q-R-S, at yahoo.com. I thank you.